Today, we're gonna find out if the Ozark Trail Tumbler is any good. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's the Ozark Trail Tumbler, 30 ounce tumbler here. It's huge, one of the largest ones you can get. And I picked it up because I was looking for a value tumbler. Um, so you know that uh, I've always kind of been envious of the people with the Yetis out there. They're expensive. I can't afford it. I wouldn't spend 40 bucks on a tumbler, but I would spend like 10 or 15. And in my quest to find good quality, vacuum insulated stainless steel tumblers to keep my drinks nice and icy cold while i'm out there sipping on my high c um, i thought i would try some of the cheaper ones now ozark trail is interesting because i think it's actually the walmart brand and so you can actually find this at your local walmart and what you can see here comes nice nice little label looks a lot like the north face i got it in pink here because pink's my color it is a paint on the outside here i think it's very much like my other tumbler you can see where they kind of mask it off and then paint below it i'm not sure if it's powder coated it certainly would be nice if it were you have the ozark trail debossed in the bottom there which is kind of the standard thing to do we also have some plastic on the bottom because there is a really nice grippy rubber base to it so if i put that down i don't have to worry about it moving around if we look at the top we do have a polycarbonate clear top. It maybe is just slightly smoked. I found that getting these things off can be a little tough because the O-ring on these is really insulative and tight. And so that's good because it doesn't allow a lot of transfer of air. You can see how thick and solid this polycarbonate is. And you can also see that it's slightly smoked, which I think is going to help keep out the UV light and possibly keep it a little cooler in there. There's a nice big tap here to help you lever that thing out. And then the top here actually has a hole for drinking and then a little air release hole. And you have this little polycarbonate flap that will go over, snaps into place with authority. And if you flip it all the way to this side, you can see it kind of snaps over that little tab so that won't come slamming back down on you. This whole black piece right here is rubber or silicone or something like that, food grade, I'm hoping. And then it will fill in the holes here and not allow them to seep out and especially not, again, let any air get in there. Now, if we take a look inside, it does come because it's brand new, apparently with instructions, cool. And then you can see what it looks like inside here. Pretty standard, kind of a sandblasted stainless steel look, but obviously quite voluminous. So 30 ounces should keep you nice and hydrated. So let's get this thing filled up with ice and water, and then I'm gonna put it outside. It's a scorching day, and I'm gonna leave this sucker out there for like 90 minutes, and let's see what it looks like after an hour and a half. So I got caught up with other things, and I actually let this sucker percolate out here for a couple of hours. So let's take a look. And that's what we have. So I'm actually not that surprised. These insulated tumblers seem to be pretty darn good. Uh, actually, the ice is kind of frozen together there. I just kind of was curious how much ice, but it's packed. The whole thing is still icy. Everything's melted a little bit, but pretty impressive. And, you know, for a tumbler that's under 20 bucks in a nice color, you know, Walmart brand, sure seems to be as good as just about any of the other tumblers I've tested. So it's a good way to save some money if you're not super into the brand names. So I would give this one a thumbs up. Hey, if you want to pick it up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Brown Panda, out.